Hi guys, I'm Tash and today we're going to make a trio of mushroom risotto. Um, it's got three different types of mushrooms which I'll talk you through in a minute and we're going to also embellish it with some truffle. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is heat up some butter and oil. Just adding a bit of oil makes sure the butter doesn't burn. And then we're going to sweat our onions and celery. You don't have to use celery if you don't have it, it just adds um, a bit of flavour. So just going to melt some butter. And a dash of olive oil. So we're going to add the onions now and the celery. We have cooked down our onions and celery, so we're now going to add our risotto rice. This is one that we sell um, at Fine Food Specialists. You can also use a borio rice if that's what you have. So we're going to add 400 grams of this and that will feed probably four to six people. So this is 400 grams of rice and you just want to have this on a low heat and stir it through. 70 ml of white wine. You could also use vermouth if you wanted to use that. So we're just going to add that. These are our dried shiitake mushrooms. If you ever smell shiitake, a dried one, you'll know how strong it smells. It kind of smells salty and fishy. So these are really good when you want to get quite an intense mushroom flavour. So we're just going to pour a bit of boiling water on these so the flavour can come out and then we'll chop them up and use them in the risotto. I have drained the shiitakes that we were soaking in water and I've kept that water aside because we're going to put that in the risotto and I've just finely chopped it. Once we've mixed through the shiitake water, we're going to add the chopped shiitakes. Depending on who you're making this for, you could actually use chicken stock or mushroom stock. We're using a mushroom stock today, but you could use one of the chicken stocks we have on Fine Food Specialist. They're really good for risotto. And we're basically, we've got the hot stock here that's um, all ready to go, and we're just going to ladle it in one scoop at a time. Um, that will take about 30 minutes. The first ladle of mushroom stock going in. And with any risotto, you just need to make sure that you're always stirring it so that none of it catches or burns. And all of the moisture that we're putting in is just going to soak up into the risotto and make it super creamy. So we've used 1.5 litres of stock today, which we think is about the right amount. Um, but you have to use your own judgment. So if you like your risotto a little bit more al dente, you could use a little bit less. If you like it super, super creamy, you could add a tiny bit more. Um, you just need to keep tasting it towards the end um, and decide what the perfect amount is. As the risotto is nearly done, we can get on with prepping our garnish of mushrooms. So we are going to fry up our mushrooms now. So these are our three types of mushrooms. We've got shiitake mushrooms. These are from Japan um, and they have a really earthy, sort of nutty, rich flavour. We're also going to use a dried version of this, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, these are the Girols. They're from Scotland. Um, if you smell them, they kind of smell peachy and apricotty. They've got a really nice flavour and they add a good colour to the plate. And these are oyster mushrooms. We've got the grey version and the yellow version. They're quite meaty. Um, often they are used in vegetarian and vegan cooking to sort of replicate the texture of meat. So those are three types of mushrooms. Okay, so the shiitakes, you can't actually eat the stalk of shiitakes, whereas most other mushrooms you can. So just gonna slice these roughly. So with gerols, you can actually just use them whole. Um, you can just sort of scrape off any dirt that's on them. These ones are quite clean though. And then you can slice them down the middle if you want a smaller cut, um, which is quite good for garnish. So with the oyster mushrooms, you can just slice these up as well. So these are our chopped mushrooms, which are going to be the garnish for the top of the risotto. We're just going to fry them off in a bit of butter and garlic. There's actually no fresh mushrooms in the risotto because all of that flavour is going to come from the dried shiitake and the mushroom stock. So now the risotto is nearly done, we're going to heat up a pan, add some butter and fry off our mushrooms. It should only take about five minutes on quite high heat and towards the end we'll grate some garlic in to give them a bit of garlicky flavour. Um, so I'm just going to melt the butter now. 
and add a tiny bit of oil so that the butter doesn't burn. The butter is almost bubbling. So we're just going to add in our mushrooms, shiitakes, oyster and trumpet. Not trumpet, sorry, gerols. Just try and coat all of them in the butter. To season the mushrooms, I'm going to add a bit of our black truffle salt. Um, this just adds a little bit more of an earthy flavour. Some people don't like truffle though, so you can just use normal salt. But it's really good, you can already smell the truffle flavour coming from that. The mushrooms are nearly done, I'm just going to grate in um, some garlic. The mushroom garnish is just finishing off. We're going to also finish the risotto. So to do that we are going to add a knob of butter. This is a real trick to a creamy risotto. And we're also going to add parmesan. Uh, we've probably got about 150 grams of parmesan. We've got a really nice one on our website if you're looking for a good quality parmesan. So we're just going to add this in and stir it through. You want to make sure you're doing this literally at the end of cooking your risotto, otherwise the parmesan can go quite stringy, but that will really thicken up the risotto and give it a cheesy, salty, delicious flavour. To finish off seasoning the risotto, we used a bit of our truffle salt, that's really delicious. Um, if you want to make it extra truffly, this is a new product we've got called Truffle Dust and it is what it is. It is what it says on the tin. It is so delicious. If you like the flavour of truffle, you need to get some of this because you can put it on chips, risottos, meat if you want to do that, uh, literally anything, potatoes, it's so nice. So we're going to add a bit of this as seasoning at the end. Um, and also when we plate up, we'll also use a bit of our white truffle oil. We also have black truffle oil depending on what sort of strength you want. White truffle oil is a bit stronger. Um, so that's all going to make it super truffly and delicious. The Mushrooms are done, they've got a really good colour on them. The risotto is done, so it's time to plate up. So here it is, we've got our trio of mushroom risotto with truffle. Um, you could actually also use freshly shaved truffle over the top if you wanted to make it super truffly. Um, but yeah, it smells absolutely delicious, so I'm gonna have to tuck into it. Get a piece with the chirols. Mm. It's really good. Um, it's such a good way to use different mushrooms because you get a bit of all of them on top and with the truffle running through it, it's just like so earthy and yummy. So yeah, I'd recommend trying it out and you can use whatever mushrooms are in season. At the moment we use these because these are all seasonal, apart from shiitake which is all year round. But no, have a go and I hope you like the recipe.